Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. This is going to be your Let's Get Ready for the Week Ahead, April 1st through April 5th. Uh, so we had a good day on Friday. Uh, Friday, the markets were green into the quarter end. Uh, the first quarter of 2019 has come to a close. Uh, this is a quarterly chart that you're looking at. Uh, so the Dow uh, closed up for Friday up 211 points. The uh, transports were up 88 points. The NASDAQ itself was up uh, 60 points. And the S&P 500 uh, for Friday was up 19 points for the day. Uh, as you can see, it was the best quarter since 2009 for the markets, uh, the best first quarter since 1998 uh, for the market. So uh, we're looking at a quarterly chart of the SPY, the S&P 500. Uh, after that sell-off uh, into uh, the end of the year, uh, the markets have rebounded. Uh, once again, this is a quarterly chart that you're looking at uh, to gain back uh, you know, most of that uh, loss there. On the S&P 500, uh, we'll go ahead and look at um, some of the uh, year-to-date numbers. So the uh, marijuana ETF uh, to, for the year up so far 46% uh, uh, for the year. Oil is rebounded 32% for the year. Uh, we also had uh, KWeb, the China Internet uh, ETF, up uh, 27% uh, for the year. The S&P 500 uh, for the year was up 13% uh, on the year. Uh, SMH was up 22% for the year, and the OIH was up 23% uh, year-to-date uh, for the OIH. TAN, the solar sector, up almost 25% on the year. For the week, we had uh, KWeb, the China Internet ETF, up almost 5% on the week. The uh, regional banks were up 4% for the week. The uh, transports, the IYT, up on over 3.5% uh, for the week. Uh, we had the IBB up 3.3%. Uh, the steel ETF was up 3%. Uh, IWM was up uh, about 2.3% for the week that passed. Uh, we also had the Dow Jones 30 up about uh, a little over 1.5% for the week. Uh, IWC, the micro caps, up 1.3% uh, for the week. Uh, the uh, software ETF, the PSJ, uh, was up 1.3% for the week. Uh, the TLT continues uh, to move up as the TLT. TLT moves up, bond yields move down, and the uh, IGV, the uh, software index uh, for the week was up a one and about one and a quarter percent uh, for the week on the IGV. Uh, here's a visual view of the weekly sector performance. Uh, you can see most sectors in the green, uh, a little bit of pullback in the communication services and utilities uh, gave back a little bit this week, but most sectors uh, in the green. Uh, the XLI, uh, very strong week, up 2.5% uh, for the week on the XLI. Uh, if we go ahead and look at some of the sectors, percentage uh, for the week, we had the retail sector up 3.66%. Uh, the XBI, the biotech ETF, was up 3% for the week. Uh, we had the XLI uh, was up 2.85% uh, uh, for the week on the XLI. The XHB, the home builders, up 2.31%. To the downside, like we said, uh, the utilities and the communication sectors were down fractionally for the week. Uh, the sector that's topping the markets uh, year to date, uh, we have the uh, XBI, the biotech ETF, up 26% uh, uh, for the year so far. We had the uh, XLK year to date up 19%. XHB, the home builders, up almost 19%. XLRE, which is the real estate sector, up 16% uh, for the uh, year to date. And uh, the XLU, uh, for the year to date, uh, moving up uh, nine, about 10% on that for the XLU. XLP up 10.5%, XLC up 13% on the uh, XLC. That's some of your sectors year to date.
Uh, here's the heat map courtesy of Finviz. As you can see, green are pretty much across the board here. Uh, Amazon up, Facebook uh, climbing, uh, Google was up on Friday, uh, JP Morgan. Uh, Wells Fargo was down 1.5%. Uh, their CEO uh, leaving there at Wells Fargo, WFC. Uh, Comcast was down uh, 1%. Uh, some of the oils got uh, sold off. Uh, they had Conoco Phillips moving down almost 1% for the week. Uh, Bristol Myers was down uh, fractionally uh, for the day on uh, Friday. Uh, we also had 3M uh, down fractionally on Friday. Uh, but overall, very strong uh, market on Friday. Good broad strength uh, in the market. Uh, UTX was up over one and a quarter percent. Lockheed Martin was up one and a half percent. Merck also up. J and J climbing uh, over half a percent for J and J. Uh, Dow Dupont uh, up over one. 1% for the day on Friday. Um, the fear and greed index right now is currently at 49, so not extreme fear, not extreme greed. Right smack uh, in the middle here on the fear and greed from CNN Business. Uh, so complacent markets uh, right now, no real fear out there at the moment in the market. Uh, so Friday, the Lyft IPO came out. Uh, Lyft shares popped 21% at the start of the uh, IPO. So it was priced at $72. It opened up at about $87. $7.24 for Lyft. Uh, so good uh, IPO uh, for Lyft. There was a frenzy all week about Lyft and the IPO. Uh, CNBC was broadcasting every uh, tick of the Lyft IPO. Uh, I'll show you the chart as we get further into the video. Uh, so uh, it gave Lyft a $26.4 billion uh, market cap evaluation there for uh, Lyft. Uh, this coming from the New York Post. Uh, we did did get uh, Trump out uh, on Friday. He was uh, scolding the Fed over mistakenly raising uh, interest rates. Uh, and then we also had Friday White House advisor Larry Kudlow says uh, Fed should immediately cut uh, rates uh, by 50 basis points immediately. And that coming out uh, from Larry Kudlow, that news coming out on Friday. Uh, also, uh, we had China, uh, this coming out on Saturday, China and the U.S. remain at odds over the timing of lifting uh, tariffs. Uh, talks to continue next week, so this week coming up, with uh, Beijing seeking immediate end to uh, tariffs and duties. Uh, another headline uh, coming out uh, over the weekend. I will go ahead and take a look at the uh, Bitcoin versus the U.S. dollar. We're currently over and holding above that 4,000 level uh, on Bitcoin, uh, this courtesy of TradingView charts. So let's go ahead and look at the SPY and we'll look at a couple of other markets uh, and uh, we'll start out with the SPY. So after uh, we, that uh, week when we had that close on that Friday, March uh, 22nd, uh, when the uh, SPY and the Dow was dropping uh, that real hard that day, uh, the Dow was down 460 points. Uh, we've recovered some of it. Now the high uh, from that Friday was uh, 283.80. Uh, we're currently at 282.48. So I'm watching to see if uh, bulls can take a up over that uh, 283, 284 area. The low that day was 279. Uh, so right now, this week, uh, pretty much we battled around the uh, 20 uh, SMA for the bulls and the bears were battling. We, the bulls did take, a, I'm sorry, the bears did take us down to a low of about 278. Uh, we recovered off of that. We got back over 280 and uh, we closed, like I said, at 282, 84. Uh, so like I said, I'm watching uh, 284 area for the SPY to see if we can push back up through that. I think if we can get up through that uh, uh, the highs from that Friday when we had that sell-off in the Dow and the SPY, uh, that should put the bulls back in charge. Uh, then we have another high up here of uh, 285.18. Uh, so a couple of numbers there for you to watch. Uh, also on the uh, 200 and the 50 SMA on the daily for the SPY, uh, we're coming up to this uh, 
golden cross. All right, so that's when the 50 crosses above the 200 SMA. Uh, you see this is a flat 200 SMA, a rising 50. So uh, if we can get that golden cross, uh, that adds another, uh, I guess, uh, piece of the puzzle for the bulls. Uh, also, uh, the Qs also are close uh, to giving us a uh, golden cross here. The 50 possibly could cross uh, above the 200 uh, SMA on the Qs. Uh, we're holding above the 10 SMA and holding above the 5 EMA on the QQQ. Uh, let's check the IWM real fast. So the IWM uh, battling back this week. Uh, we did get back above uh, after holding this 100 SMA, which we were talking about on the previous videos. Uh, we did get back above the uh, 20 SMA and the 10 SMA here uh, on the IWM. Uh, so nice uh, comeback there uh, for the Bulls. Nice bounce. Uh, let's see if they can hold it and push us up through this uh, 155 area for the IWM. The IWM is also holding above the 50 SMA, and it is a rising uh, 50 SMA here uh, for this. So uh, that looks good for the bulls. Now, if we can stay above and hold above this uh, 5 EMA and the uh, 50 SMA, uh, and let's see if we can push up through the highs on the IWM. The high was uh, 153.97, so we'll call it 154 uh, is the number that the bulls want to push us through, and they want to defend that 50 SMA of about 152.42. So we'll call it 152.50 uh, for the bulls on the IWM. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the worst stocks for the week that passed. Uh, we had Restoration Hardware uh, after their earnings came out, a very expensive uh, furniture store basically and home finishings. Uh, so this stock dropped down 21.5% uh, uh, after their earnings came out. They did not beat uh, expectations. Uh, H uh, HYRE uh, dropped. They had earnings this week. Also, this one was connected with the uh, Lyft uh, IPO. Uh, folks felt that uh, if this Lyft IPO was going to push, push this uh, HYRE, uh, but after the earnings came out, uh, they were not good and uh, was kind of a sell the news uh, after the Lyft IPO came out. So this stock dropped 24% uh, for the week. VFF over in the cannabis space uh, was down 14% for the week. Uh, CCL Carnival Corp uh, dropped 10% after they released earnings. Uh, NEO continued to move down this week, down down uh, 9% uh, after the, uh, they came out with earnings a few weeks ago. Uh, they had popped this one up to over $10. Since then, it's been straight down. Uh, it's trying to hold this $5 area uh, for NEO, so we'll be watching that one for possible bounces, but down for a 9% for the week. PHUN also uh, getting clobbered this week. That stock down about 70% for the week. Uh, this one, uh, PRTO, uh, phase three did not meet uh, uh, primary endpoints for PRTO. Uh, that stock dropped 85% for the week. PTI, uh, release of data from its trials was uh, disappointing on PTI. Stock dropped 69%. REPH, also uh, received a second uh, CRL from the uh, FDA on REPH stock down 39%. Uh, percent. Uh, Canif uh, got hit this week down 29%. Uh, phase two did not achieve uh, primary endpoints there. MBRX came out with an offering uh, down 39% for the week. FCSC, they came out with earnings. Also uh, concerns of available cash going into uh, phase three on FCSC, down 23%. Uh, OSMT, uh, they only met one of the two primary uh, endpoints for OSMT, uh, and this one took a hit down 45% for the week. EYPT, they did an offering, stock dropping 19% for the week. TYME also did an offering down 15% on that one. And uh, PYX uh, over in the cannabis space down 
down 14 stocks for the week that passed uh, with the uh, retail XRT uh, ETF moving up. We had AEO, um, American Eagle Outfitters, moving up 11% for the week. We have uh, ANF climbing, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch climbing 11% for the week. Uh, KMX also uh, had earnings come out this Friday. Stock was up 13% for the week. PVH in the retail sector up 14% after they came out with uh, earnings this week. KBH had earnings this week up uh, on this one, 6%. FIVE, another retail stock, up 6% for the week. Their earnings came out. Uh, they met and beat expectations there. ACN, uh, their earnings came out on Thursday. This stock climbing 7% for the week. LULU, uh, over in the retail space, their earnings came out. Uh, also, a stock repurchase uh, program uh, increased here for Lulu. Uh, stock moving up over 14% for the week. BOXL had earnings this week. Stock moved up 15% for the week. Amron had a very nice week. A lot of call activity in Amron uh, moving this stock up 19% uh, for the week. Uh, HUNT, very strange week this week. Uh, this stock for the week up 900%. Uh, Hunt Maritime. Now this one is currently in a T12 halt. Uh, the SEC wants some information, uh, but H HUNT, which is currently in a T12 halt, was a big, big mover this week from $10 all the way past $100, uh, but is in currently in a T12 halt on that one. RBZ was another one uh, that moved up this week. It was even higher than 54%, but closed the week up 54% there. Uh, this stock recently did a one for eight reverse split on uh, RBZ. Uh, we also had some crazy moves in other shippers uh, this week. We had uh, NM uh, Navos, Navajos Maritime uh, was up 13% on that name. NMCI uh, climbed this week. It was up even higher. Uh, it was up 13% for the week. So the shippers uh, were getting some strange moves uh, this week in uh, the shippers NK uh, small biotech was up 25% for the week. Uh, they got funding a boost for uh, the company. Uh, so that was the news on uh, NK NT ATHM. Sorry, ATHM. Uh, this stock uh, rose 16% for the week. ALDX. Uh, they had a conference call and a phase three uh, met expectations on ALDX. Uh, stock for the week up over 21%. Um, on that one, SKX uh, Skechers, uh, Susquehanna came out and upgraded uh, the stock, and this one uh, climbed uh, over 10% uh, for the week. Tiger, a recent IPO, uh, moving up real strong, up 20% for the week on this IPO. BBBY, uh, they have an activist investor involved in this name, uh, stock moving up 24% for the week. Uh, Celgene, uh, moving up 7% this week. They're being bought out by Bristol Myers. Uh, Celgene submitted a new drug application to the FDA. Uh, CIFS uh, climbing this week up 38% on that name. It's a China name. AVEO. Uh, there's rumors circulating uh, from a Seeking Alpha article blog on uh, this AVEO that uh, AZN rumors of uh, them buying uh, AVO out. So this stock uh, moved up 41% on AVEO. Uh, TCDA, they had phase three uh, data come out. It met primary endpoints uh, for uh, their phase three and a phase three extension. Uh, so this stock uh, powered up this week, 61% uh, biotech name there in TCDA. CVM had a good week uh, pushing up 16 percent bb uh blackberry came out with earnings software company now earnings came out on friday uh, this stock was up 12 percent for the week jd uh china retailer uh, Walmart owns a percentage of this company. Uh, this stock moved up 8% for the week on JD.com. Uh, we also had CSSE making a big move this week, up 55% uh, for the week on CSSE. MXC, 
Uh, a big move up on uh, Friday and for the week up 23% on that one. TYHT uh, climbing 18% for the week. IMTE moving up strong this week up 48% on that one. SRAX uh, this one climbed 42% for the week. GBR Friday was moving up with big strength. Uh, gave back some of the gains though but was up 21% for the week on GBR. GLBG. Uh, this stock moving up uh, 18% on GLBG, IMAC climbing this week uh, up 24% on IMAC. And that's some of your best stocks for the week. Uh, this is an intraday chart of the SPY, a five-minute chart with pre-post market. Uh, this line horizontal recognizes the beginning of the week on the 25th, Monday. As you can see, we were pushing down on 277.50 a few times. Uh, then on the uh, 20. Uh, 27th uh, we made another attempt to break down here by the bears uh, they basically made a higher low uh, then we made another higher low here on uh, the 28th and then it was off to the races on the market so the bears did make attempts on Monday to break us down but we gapped up from the lows here uh, they tried to push us down again through that 277.50 uh, they just couldn't do it bulls showed up and started to uh, push us up and into the close and into the after hours on Friday for the SPY. That's your action for the week on the SPY. Uh, this is some of your news that came out Friday after the bell, courtesy of the news service, the trade exchange. Uh, TGTX came out with some uh, phase two data there after the bell on Friday. Uh, GIL also uh, had a automatic share purchase plan uh, for GIL uh, SGMS scientific games uh, brings exclusive game system and dynamic sports betting uh, solutions so SGMS let's see if it did anything in the after hours uh, nothing going on there on Friday in that name after hours uh, MTDR uh, announces conversion option uh, for convertible senior notes on MTDR PLX filed form S S300 million mixed shelf, SLNO filed form S1 up to uh, over 10 million shares of common stock. Uh, let's see, this was that Trump tweet that came out Friday. Had the Fed not mistakenly raised interest rates, especially since there was very little inflation, and had they not done the ridiculous timed quantitative tightening, uh, the 3.0% GDP and stock market would have uh, both been much higher and world markets would have been a better place. President Trump uh, tweeting that on Friday after the close. MNKD uh, 500 S3 filed IMMU 150 million ATM offering through Cowan. Uh, GLPG uh, mixed shelf came out. Uh, news came out after the bell on Friday. Uh, some of your top insider purchases uh, ANH MNI MHLD SELB EYEG and EGLE, they're a shipper. And that's some of your uh, news that came out Friday after the bell, courtesy of the Trade Exchange News Service. Uh, this is your economic calendar for the week coming up, courtesy of the Trade Exchange News Service. Uh, so for Monday, uh, pretty straightforward economic information coming out on Monday. Tuesday, uh, we get the API crude oil data that comes out at 4.30 after the bell. Uh, we get the MBA mortgage applications that will be coming out on Wednesday. We do get uh, some Fed speak uh, this week in the market, all leading up to the employment report which comes out Friday, April 5th, the first uh, week of the month there. Uh, at 8.30 for Friday, the employment report will be coming out uh, this week. This courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, we do get some earnings uh, for Monday. Uh, if you click here on the green on the calendar. Now, this calendar I always put out on my uh, Twitter feed. Uh, so if you want to grab a link to it. It'll be out on my uh, Twitter feed, uh, Zozo Stock Watch. Uh, before the bell for Monday, we get C-A-L-M, uh, C-Y-T-X, D-G-L-Y, I-D-E-X will be reporting Monday before the bell, S-O-R-L, X-T-N-T. Uh, some of the companies that'll be reporting after after the bell, uh, Kodak, K-O-D-K, 
TTNP will be reporting, SRAX, uh, some of the names there. Uh, some of the names that are reporting later in the week, car courtesy of Earnings Whisper, uh, GameStop, GMO, uh, Dave & Buster's, PLE, uh, PLY, excuse me, Play is the symbol there, GME for GameStop. Uh, we get Signet Jewelers reporting Wednesday, SI Constellation Brands will be reporting on Thursday, Duluth Trading, uh, I believe they make underwear and garments a uh, DLTH symbol there for Duluth uh, so pretty um uh, light on the earnings coming out uh for next week uh, this once again courtesy of earnings whisper some unusual call activity this courtesy of the trade exchange news service uh unusual options activity on the call side SGMO uh, Amrin, Snap, uh, SKX, which is Sketcher, and CAL, all with unusual call activity. To the put side for unusual uh, put activity, EXPE and DB, all both with uh, unusual uh, put activity. Now, I'll be out with another video later on uh, for Sunday. Uh, stocks I'll be watching for Monday. And a few ideas you can put on your watch, you know, for the week. Uh, so here's the SPY, right? Uh, we talked about this in previous videos. Uh, when we did get that uh, sell-off that Friday, we were watching to see if we were going to hold above this week coming up, uh, if we were going to hold above the 10 SMA on the weekly chart. We are still holding above the 10 SMA on the weekly weekly chart for the SPY. Uh, Q's doing the same thing, uh, holding above the 10 SMA. Uh, so uh, the markets look strong here. Uh, we did have a, you know, a uh, uh, inverted hammer back here uh, on that Friday for the Q's. Uh, let's see if we can take out those highs again, like I talked about in the beginning of the video uh, for the Q's and the SPY. If we look at it on the daily chart once again for the QQQ, we're holding above the 10 SMA. Uh, we'd like to see this get back above the highs from Friday. Uh, so I think Monday will tell the tale of the tape. Uh, we'll see if uh, the bulls can push us up and hold uh, the gains Monday uh, into the close. Uh, we've been getting some selling uh, into the close uh, in the markets. Let's see Monday if the markets can hold up, push up, and hold those gains on Monday. Friday uh, was a very strong day uh, for the bulls. Uh, let's see if Monday they can hold on to these gains and push us higher and at least hold the gains if we have any on Monday. All right, so this is Mike from Zozo Stockwatch. Dot com. This is your let's get ready for the week ahead. We'll be back out with another video. Uh, stocks to watch. Be on the lookout for that. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit that bell if you'd like to be notified every time we do a video. I greatly appreciate the support for the channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Have a great week trading. We'll be back at it with another video uh, over the weekend. Stocks to watch.